so the way I weight my baits is part of the whole process. Very simple to do. Go to a uh, tackle store, go to Walmart, wherever, and go buy some rubber core sinkers. Remember the ones you used to catfish with? Got a little piece of rubber in the middle of them? Pull them. You want quarter ounce ones and you want one eighth ounce ones. The quarter ounce ones I tend to use for the five and a quarter inch baits. The eighth ounce ones I use for four and a half inch baits, the little smaller jerk baits like this one right here. So you see there's two, two major sizes on that right there. But I will take and hang that weight on the hook. What you do is go to your kitchen sink, fill it up. Your wife will think you're getting ready to do the dishes, but oh no, 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 no. We're fishing. <clears throat> fill it up with cold water, as cold as it will run into your sink. Because we colder water is more dense. So it's very critical that when you weight this, that it's weighted just right in your sink in cold water so that when you go to the reservoir and it's cold, it does the same thing. So I will first change my hooks on all my jerk baits. I want the sharpest hooks I can get. <clears throat> I've, I have no hook affiliation, but my favorite hook is a gamakatsu. Sharpest to me, the easiest to get a hold of. But I t on the five and a quarter inch baits, I changed to number fours. And on the um, um, four and a half inch baits, I generally use either a number five or a number six. I like the fives a little bit better. So I use the, put the hooks, the new hooks on it. I hang the weight on this front hook and it, it goes straight to the bottom of the sink. Don't panic. Take your side cutters, nip a little bit more of that weight off there. Hang that weight right back onto the shank of the hook and it goes a little slower. And trial and error, you'll finally get it to where when it drops down, it stays right there, either perfectly neutrally balanced or it'll slightly float up a little bit slower. Crimp that weight on the front of the shank of the hook, then take a suspend strip or suspend dot and put it right under the bill, not on the bill, right under the bill, <clears throat> and do the same thing with it. Now the suspend strips and suspend dots come with adhesive on them, and there's only enough adhesive there to weight your bait. So what I do is I put that adhesive strip on there, and then that may take it to the bottom. I cut a little more of the suspend strip off there, till I finally get it to where when I drop it in the tank, it sits right there. Doesn't go up, doesn't go down. It, and after you've done it three or four times, you can do one in about three to four minutes. It's pretty simple once you get to doing it. Then I take super glue and adhere the strip or the dot, what, what's left there with super glue. Because you don't want to be out there fishing and have that little piece of that dot go off the bait. Then you lose your neutral buoyancy and it floats again. The second thing that this does, it puts this bait in a head down angle, that total unnatural presentation. But that does multiple things for us to have this much weight with this big bait. Jerk baits are pretty flighty. <clears throat> what happens in the springtime? We have weather front after weather front after weather front coming through. So we get lots of wind. I want to fish windy banks, windy points, because that positions those fish. I know where they're right on the end of that point an aggressive position for those fish to be in an ambush point. With this much weight, it makes this bait a lot easier to throw. With the head down position, when I go to jerk the bait, it's already in the head down position. This is only a five to six foot diving bait anyway. It's already headed down. Now I've gotten another foot to 18 inches. So now it's a six, six and a half foot to an eight foot diving bait. Think back to that clear water situation. If it's in six feet of water, he's in 30. When you make the cast, you weight the bait, now it's in eight foot of water and he's in 30. He can see that bait a heck of a lot better because he's two feet closer to it. Does that make sense? Okay. But what I like to do is I like to take and put a false eye on my bait because most crankbaits come with them, but jerk baits don't. I take and use my Sharpie and I put a false eye on there, about three quarters the size of your little fingernail. Now, when I show this bait like this, you guys see that I have a fishing lure in my hand when I move it around, right? Now, when I turn this bait, what are you looking at now? What, what are you focused on, on now when I move it? Yeah. Black dot. Move the bull's eye. Move the bull's eye forward so that when that fish is going for the head of that bait, he gets better hooks. 
You're not going to get more bites by doing this, but your hookup ratio will be thousands of times better, particularly with a jerk bait, because this bait is a bait in which you get a lot of slashing bites. They're not really, because it's moving when, in warm water, it's moving. But when he can focus on it, he gets the whole thing, and you hook them and you catch darn near every one of them that way. Yes, sir? No. No, I just do this for, I put it on both sides. Okay. I do this so that I can show you okay. how it looks, but I do it on both sides. I also do this on lipless crankbaits, on lipless baits. I can tell you a whole story about Seminole where my partner and I were throwing the same chrome and blue lipless bait. I had spots on mine. I had 24 pounds choked by the end of the day and he got one bite. Same line, same bait, same rod and reel, two different anglers, 20 feet apart, and we're throwing on a flat. He got the same amount of bites that I did, but they were barely nipping his, and mine had it down to here. And I had 24 pounds that day. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.